Hello friends, welcome to Beyond 20's YouTube channel. Myself, Nilam Patel, a solution consultant with Beyond 20. In today's video, we will learn about how to schedule a report in ServiceNow. So, let's see how to do that. But uh, let me tell you uh, before we start that in order to schedule the report, we have to have the admin privileges. So, for that, in the left navigation panel, uh, we will type it, we can type reports or we can type scheduled reports. So, under report module, we will be able to see the scheduled report. So, let's click on that. So, if we do have any report scheduled, then we will be able to see here or else it will show no records to display or empty just like it is now. Now, let's click on new and then we will type this scheduled a name. So, uh, we created a report in one of our previous video and the name is my teams incidents so let's look for that report and we will search my team enter and we will be able to see this so let's select that report now we can if we want to add only user then we can add, click on this so that way we'll be able to add ourselves or else we can select a group so for that let's see we have a test user group in this um, instance or else we can also add email so for that till at beyond 20.com so this is my email we can also add the subject line if we want to add and then application we will keep it global or else we can select the application based on the requirement now uh, is this report active yes how we want to run this report we want to run this daily we want to run this weekly if you want to run weekly then what day if you want to run monthly then what date and then periodically let's say for example if we want to repeat this report every 10 days then we can give here 10 days or else just once then once on demand so whenever there is whenever there is a demand we can run this report and this last two is for the uh, fiscal year uh, start and end it so in today's scenario let's say uh, once and then we will pick the time right now uh, it so we'll pick after two minutes so let's add two minute here or maybe three minutes and then for conditional if we if we do have any condition for example if we want to trigger this report based on certain condition then we can uh, add the code here for the condition and if we uh, omit if no record so if there is no record for this report then we can omit this by clicking this box so now we can also add the message so a body of the email so for uh, in subject line we will add my teams incident report or else we can say teams incident report in subject line let's say hi team please find attached incident report and now then uh, what kind of report do we want to generate pdf excel excel dot uh, in dot xlx or dot xls csv however we want to generate the report we can select the type if we want to zip out the report compress the report then we can select this and then if we want to include any other report then also we can include uh, report here so this is how we can uh, schedule the report La now let's click on the submit so we will be able to see that one schedule has been scheduled to run the report now uh, if you want to check how if this report was uh, run on time or not then let's see uh, sent and then uh, 
when we click this we will be able to see if the report has been generated so based on our schedule it haven't generated yet so let's see uh, we will have to wait for few minutes and uh, until the report gets generated so this is how we can create report schedule the report create schedule and um, we can also see the report if it has been um, sent or not yet so in our case we'll have to wait few minutes in order to see the report in this line so let's remove the filter and see if the report is there or not. the email has been sent or not so let's click on all and then for recipient let's type the nilam dot tail at and see so yes we can see uh, what, uh, this is the uh, email that has been sent to Nilam and the subject is Teams incident report. So let's click on this and if you can see that the PDF has been attached to the report and the report has been generated. So this is how we can schedule a report in ServiceNow. Thank you all for watching this video.